Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It is Monday, time for a market outlook where we're gonna take a look at the FIFA market for this week of FIFA Ultimate Team. Obviously, we are in the middle of Team of the Season, which is going on right now. Cards and packs, SBCs, daily, weekly objectives, not daily, weekly objectives, um, that we actually already have some of these cards out in packs, especially the Onana card. Um, which I think is pretty interesting to a lot of people um, because this is pretty easy to to get this card, but his card is also on the market um, just because of the whole mix up with EA. Same thing with Sissoko. I actually tweeted about him tonight as I'm recording this. I picked him up um, from the SBC, which was very cheap. We'll talk about that to, uh, in this video. But basically, I just want to kind of talk about how I see the next, the upcoming week of FIFA Ultimate Team, the promotion, the SBCs and stuff that we're going to be getting. Um, along with what we could see heading into uh, Premier League tots market-wise in terms of a sell-off. And even, um, you know, some of these cards that are in Team of the Season most consistent right now that might be included in the packs with Team of the Seasons when the respective leagues come out. EA did that last year with some of the cards. I think they'll do it this year as well for a few of them. So, first of all, I want to talk about the SBCs that came out in the store section today. Um, and you'll see here that I, f I have some of them favorited, uh, the ones that I want to look at, especially the ones from today. EFL Tots Guarantee. This this SBC right now on Footbin, um, I think costs you like 20,000 coins or less. Um, and this is a very strategic move by EA. We're going to go over here and check out this SBC. You see right here, 19K to do this EFL Tots Guaranteed SBC, 19,000 coins to complete that SBC. That's pretty cheap. It is, in all honesty. All you need is an 83 overall squad with 70 chem. I'm gonna do it. It puts an untradeable TOTS card in your club uh, at a very cheap value, and it also encourages the price of those already uh, cards that are, the team of the seasons that are already on the market, it kind of encourages them to kind of go down in price. Um, so I'm gonna look at and see if I can find any of those and see where they're at discard wise. Okay, Davies is down here at about 20,000 coins. Clark's at 23 uh, from the League 1 and then EFL League 2. I think these guys are down here as well. Yeah, some of these guys, the lower rated guys, are actually about discard. So this has really helped these TOTS cards actually go to discard value, which is good. We want them there because that makes them borderline investable, especially if you're not going to be risking very much by paying 20,000 coins, even though these cards do... Um, if they're not required for SBCs ever, you're gonna have to take a loss and try to sell them at minimum value um, because you don't wanna quick sell them because I do believe their quick sell value is, um, I think it is 10,000 coins. I'll go check that really fast because that's been a question that a lot of people have been wondering and I haven't had one in my club to actually figure out myself. So we'll go take a look at this really quick, but I do believe some of these cheaper cards, the quick sell value is 10,000 coins and it is for the Davies card. So that is interesting because if they don't require these and they're gonna be you know, um, basically the cheapest they are on the market, nobody's gonna want them and buy them, then you're gonna be taking a 10K loss per card. Um, but other than that, obviously buying something at discard is a very, um, it's not a risky investment. You know, With a card like that, if you buy it at discard and you have to sell it at discard, somebody's gonna buy it at discard eventually, um, then you're not really losing that many coins, but if you have to quick sell it, that's where you do lose coins, or if they lower the price range to 10K. Um, if they had the quick sell range at like 20,000 coins right under the quick sell value, it'd be a no brainer investment. Um, but since the quick sell is 10K, I am a little bit skeptical, but once it hits discard, if you see those hit 20K, uh, especially for the 83, the 84 rated ones, I think it's a, it's a huge buy because today um, we also got the EFL TOTS guaranteed, which uh, I was just talking about. But this SBC really tells me that they're going to continue to put out SBCs for the leagues um, that come out when they put in the pack. So uh, I think we'll see this for Premier League, for League One, even for the secondary leagues. If we got one for EFL, we're probably going to get one for most consistent. Now the dates for that is going to be interesting. Um, they've done Sunday and Tuesday before. Maybe they'll do Sunday because it dropped today. Maybe they'll put it out on Thursday, uh, that might be a little bit too late. Um, so we'll kind of have to just wait and see what happens if we do get a most consistent guarantee. But this shows me that we're going to get more of these guaranteed TOTS SBCs. And obviously they have to value them differently for each league. If they put out a Premier League one, 
they're not going to be able to do the same requirement and let everybody pay 20k and get a team of the season card that's going to be um, the minimum price of any team of the season card from the Premier League is probably going to be like 100k and obviously um, this is closer to the value of the cards that are in EFL Tots so that's where I think the discard team of the season investments are, are a, decent at, a decent investment at minimum value just because you could see those cards required other things that came today on the market, I want to go find this uh, RVP card. Now, this is a cool card. It honestly is. There's a lot of hype around the Eredivisie, which this card is in. And he gives a green link to that new left wing uh, Bor Borges. Not sure how to say his name. This guy right here, Bergwin. Bergwin, the left winger. So he kind of takes, um, he's kind of like a Quincy Promes, but he's in the Eredivisie. So he does get a nice link to this RVP card. And currently, we're just jumping around all over the place right now in Footbin. But currently, this RVP card, I do believe, 178,000 coins, and you do get a couple decent packs back. So that is a bit interesting to me. You get a mini 50k pack, premium gold players pack, that's a 25k pack, 35k pack, and then two doo-doo packs down here. But you get a pretty nice card. He's got good shooting stats. The stamina, again, is not great. Um, we can take a look at the card right here if you guys have not. But he's three-star weak foot, four-star skills. He's a lefty. He's got the 93 finishing. 99 volleys and 99 penalties um, Good strength as well the 99 strength and he's just an icon player There's a lot of people that like RVP if you really like him or if you're running an air divisi side I don't think 178 K is too much to spend on him. You might even be able to do him for a less than that 150 K uh, Is a decent value as well. And then in the favorite section. I'm not sure if this is gonna show up It is not probably in the live section, but I tweeted out this Isoko that I did. I think that is a great value. And I think that EA did a very good job of making this SBC cheap. It's right around 100,000 coins. If you look on uh, Xbox, it's 114 right now, 109 on PS. That's a very cheap card, very cheap SBC. His card is on the market. And I think it's like 150,000 coins. So if you're, if you think you might wanna try that card out, I feel like it's a pretty cheap SBC to do. For 100,000 coins, you get a couple packs, um, which I think I still have those packs here in the store since I have a few things that are unassigned. So I can't go and open them, but it's like a rare Electrum and a, I'll actually just go look right now and show you on Footpin. But it's a rare Electrum players pack and a mega pack. So you get some decent packs back for that one as well. So that's when I think that SBC is worth it in my opinion. But we need to talk about the rest of this week on foot. Now, I want to talk about more market-related things because I think this week we're going to see a big-time correction in the market. I tweeted about it today, showing the picture of the um, the Alderwild Carnival card versus the Alderwild um, Tots card that is now out. And they're just the prices of those two and how they have changed throughout the course of this FIFA and how the market has been reacting to these new Tots cards coming onto the market. Now, you know, we're going to see a lot of movements this week on the market because people are going to realize Team of the Season is here. They want to get ready for Premier League Team of the Season. Now, the really interesting thing that we're going to have to watch this week is how much of a sell-off is there before the weekend and how much of a sell-off happens on the day of. Because I think a lot of people went out this past weekend and bought teams, especially as a Varane card right here. He was a million coins flat. This last weekend, he's now up to 1.1, where he was um, on Friday when everybody bought their teams back. A lot of these higher rated cards, some of these end game team of the year cards, a lot of people bought them back. And it looks like they might have made some teams this weekend with some of these cards, which is very interesting to me because we are in the first week of TOTS. And these team of the season cards are nowhere near the best cards that we're going to see during this promo. Obviously, if we have Premier League TOTS this week, you're going to see some of the best cards in the game, um, and it's going to cause a lot of panic on the game. That's why I really want you guys to pay attention to the market this week and not just think that there's going to be a set time to buy. It's all going to be based on how much EA shows us, how much EA tells us um, about cards that are coming out, and of course, um, who's in. I mean, if they show us the team of the week, if they do a loading screen or you know anything like that, uh, relating to even a leak showing the team a couple hours before it would actually come out that would be something that would be that would change the market a lot because a lot of people are going to see these new tots cards from the prem and they're going to panic i think because a lot of people have settled all right all right team of the season is here the market got really low but now we're going to see all this stuff during prem tots 
So I am really skeptical. I think the lowest point might actually be on Friday. This Friday, Premier League Tots is going to be a nuts, nuts day for high rated cards on the market. So again, I've started to plan out my end game team. I would recommend you guys doing the same thing. Um, this is not obviously set in stone because I'm probably not going to be buying this team until ultimate team of the season, which is the very end of Tots. Just because I think I can save myself a few coins there. I don't need to buy a team right away just because I'm not going to be playing the game a lot until that ultimate tots period, just because of upgrade packs and my internet situation in the moment as well is not so hot. So I don't play a lot of games, but um, that will be kind of my, I will look to this team after that. Um, it'll also be filled in with some possible team of the season cards because we're gonna, going to be doing packs upon packs upon packs for team of the season and uh, we're going to be doing a lot of videos on that so stay tuned for that but we'll also be covering the market at the same time for the you guys that want to trade and that want to keep you know keep a hold of on the market and try to make coins at the same time speaking of making coins um tonight squad battle rewards i picked up some team of the season cards that i feel like got too low some of the rare ones and more of those cards that are uh, most desirable in the game just some onanas um some stones, some Busquets. This 93 rated card, I, you, you saw there, 98K for a 93 rated card. Um, once the focus, I mean, a lot of people have been doing Icon SBCs, but once the word gets out on this card, I think I have another one in my club for 100K flat. A 93 rated card at 100,000 coins with the links that he gets. That's a no brainer for Icon SBCs. For an 89 rated squad, you chuck a 93 in there and that helps out your price so very much so if that card is around a hundred thousand coins i think it's an, a no-brainer pickup even pick up like five or so if you want to throw them on your transfer list and use them for uh league sbcs in the future um or just as an investment i think he could rise out of packs just because he has pure sbc value and as people start to do upgrade packs during tots there's going to be a lot of people doing sbcs last thing i want to cover in this video market outlook Make sure you guys go and stock your clubs with some of these higher rated cards. The 85s are up, the 86s are up like 1,000 coins a card from what they were um, on Sunday morning or Saturday night, just because the the, the Van Persie SBC and some of the SBCs that we got today, um, they're up a smidge for that. But especially some of these higher rated cards, the 87s at 20K, you cannot go wrong with stocking those. The 88s under 30K, that's a no-brainer. And the 89s at 40K, stock your club because there's going to be people that are doing SBCs. I mean, they're going to release other team of the seasons as SBCs. And all it takes is an 86 or an 87 rated squad um, for a very high value player from the Premier League Tots coming out next week for these cards to shoot up in price. I mean, you saw what happened today. We're going to look this up really fast. Serge Aurier, we got a, got a very good value SBC today in the main man Sissoko. And look what happened to Serge Aurier's card today. You're going to be amazed. You probably already know this, but he was 1,600 coins before the SBC. He jumped up, it says, to 4K. I know for a fact this card was 7,000 coins in the moment. Same thing with Trippier. Trippier was up to like 8,000 coins. He still inflated at 4K. Um, but these cards went crazy today because they were required for the SBC. And that's the same type of hype that you could see if we get like a... Imagine a team of the season... Uh, Sun or a Bamiyang or somebody who's just barely going to be getting into team this season. Maybe a Rashford. Imagine another Rashford SBC. Um, he's had a bunch of SBCs this year for his special cards, but all it takes is one big player like that to come out in the game. And all the club stocked high rated golds that you have, you have an opportunity to sell them for profit. It's a way of investing, but it's also to help you do SBCs for cheaper. As you can see, I stocked up on a lot of the 88s, the 89s, the 87s, and some 86s today as well. I started to do my club stock because a lot of these just hit very low and cheap prices where I was very comfortable putting them in my club to prepare for other icon SBCs that we could see in the upcoming weeks and just to be prepared for whatever else could come. It's a great idea to do that because high rated golds are the number one thing that EA uses to um, you know, require for SBCs because they're easy and attainable um, for a lot of people on the game and they're, high, and they're expensive. So you can drain coins, or EA can drain coins a lot with that as well. So again, watch the market this week. I do see a slow decline in store for us. Maybe a little bit of a rise um, in the team of the season cards. That's why I'm investing 
um, because they got a hit with a lot of supply today with lightning rounds. A lot of people played squad battles because of foot swap. Um, and I think, you know, through the first day or two of this week, we could see a little bit of a rise in those cards as people just go out and try them out. People are going to complete the weekly objectives. Go out and do those and get yourself some TOTS cards in the club, untradeable for future SBCs. Um, honestly, all of these are doable, except for Rodri. That's going to be a little bit of a chore, but that's a decent card. And it's an 88 rated card at worst. So if you're playing your weekly rivals, throw a Spanish player in there and get some wins, get some goals. Uh, to get that Rodri card, but should be another fun week on foot. You know, right now we don't have upgrade packs to rip open, which is probably good because if they did, I would be doing too many of those for this less than um, less than elite team of the season, most consistent squad. It's a great squad, don't get me wrong, but it is nowhere going to be near what we see next week or this coming week for Premier League Tots. That's the thing you got to keep in your mind that the Premier League Tots is going to blow this one out of the water in terms of hype, in terms of player value. Um, player stats, but honestly not in terms of packability and the availability on the market. Those cards are going to be very expensive day one, unlike how these were day one. There might be a few of them that have a lot of supply early on, but we'll talk about that later in the week, how I feel about those cards coming onto the market and safe packs and that kind of whole situation. And also what I'm doing with my unassigned, because I am unassigned right now. I am starting to stock up on the rare gold players that I will be doing tons upon tons upon hundreds and hopefully thousands of gold upgrade packs during Premier League Tots because I want to pack as many of them as I can. If you enjoyed the video, smash a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe to the channel if you're new. It's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.